show CT lung cancer screening to those who might be at risk for lung cancer. The screening can help detect lung cancer much earlier. Joining us today is the director of lung cancer screening program at Griffin Hospital, Dr. Richard Salzano, and lung cancer patient Diane Ostano. Lung cancer patient, not anymore though, right? Not anymore. It's been how long since you've been cancer free? Just over four years. That's fantastic. Yeah. And you credit this program with saving your life. Absolutely. Great. Absolutely. If it weren't for this program, I wouldn't be here. That's fantastic. Doctor, tell us all about the program. Well, the idea is that historically lung cancer has been a, a problem to find early. Uh, and most patients at the time of diagnosis have been it's little to no chance of yeah. being cured. Mm -hmm. Uh, lung cancer screening, the idea is to find cancers early when they're curable. Uh, with a patient like Diane, she has a 90% cure rate from her surgery, which is excellent. And that really turns the disease around and makes it a much more, uh, much more of an impact in terms of what we can do in our community. Sure. So. And who goes through these screenings? So it's based upon your smoking history. Okay. So it is, it is only for high-risk patients, mm -hmm. and that risk is based upon their smoking history. Uh, in a certain age group uh, with a certain amount of uh, smoking in their, in their history, either current or within the last 15 years having mm -hmm. quit smoking. And what's the process? A first-time patient arrives and what happens? Uh, so usually the referrals are made by primary care physicians okay. who bring it up and talk about it with their patient and explain the objectives. Uh, most patients, fortunately, 99% uh, of people are going to be found cancer free which is great mm -hmm. and it's that one percent where we really make an impact sure and so. that was you that Diane. Was me. <laughs> what was that like what was the day like what what happened bring us back well I had no symptoms no signs mm -hmm. um, I had gone to Griffin Hospital and they'd give me a little postcard and I put it in my pocketbook and it was just I kept pulling out it was getting annoying I should probably do this right <laughs> so that's basically what I did I knew I had been a smoker I had mm -hmm. already quit for several months and I says you know in the back of my mind let me put my mind at ease and that's when I made the phone call mm -hmm. and I went in for the CAT scan first and I got a little nervous because they didn't give me my results right away okay and they made me make an appointment and <laughs> that's is that typical when... doctor or is that no it's not and that's you know it's only the patients with a significant finding who will actually see a physician in okay. the program uh, the program similar I, I think many uh, people are familiar with the process with mammography where mm -hmm. You know, you, you go and you have your screening and you're told, we'll see you next year. That's the, that's the vast majority of our patients. But then when there is a significant finding, the mm -hmm. idea is for them to come in, for me to go through the process, evaluate what that finding means and what we're going to do next. So, Dan, you were coming back for a follow-up. That's when I knew they, they, when they said I had to meet with Dr. Solzano, that's when I knew that there was something up. Okay. Uh, so, at that point, that's when I got nervous. Mm -hmm. But once I met with him, I... No, the nerves were gone. And you came up with a treatment plan, I'm assuming? Exactly. And it's, and it's very uh, driven by experience. We know what we need to do based upon certain findings. Mm -hmm. uh, we put patients through a process, uh, biopsy and, uh, and treatment. Sure. And in her case, we found a very early stage lung cancer. Yep. And we're looking at a 90% chance great. of her. We've got one more year when we can predict. You know, pronounce her cured, That's which fantastic. is what we're we're anxious to get to that point. All because of the so. program. And if our viewers at home are, are hearing about this program, are interested, you would advise them to contact their primary care doctor. I think the best uh, thing is to talk about it with your primary care physician, mm -hmm. and they can go over your qualifications or your eligibility for the programs. Uh, and then a referral can be made um, through our Griffin Hospital uh, website, GriffinHealth.org. There's information on the contact and the process for getting into our program. Very good. We'll check so. out the website there. Dr. Salzano, thanks for being here, and, and congratulations. I'm so happy thank to hear you. you're healthy, Diane. Thank, thank you. you. And thank you. <laughs>